Hi guys, I'm Juan Pablo and today I'm going to show you how to install my Angry Babies. Here we have all the parts and tools that you will need to complete this installation. First you have the trucks, make sure that the threads are good and clean. Then you will use a standard skateboard nut. We always recommend to use a new one for the installation. Then you'll have the motor. the motor, inside the motor you'll find this little bag which comes with a washer or a speed ring and the coupler. The motor comes wrapped in this warning slip, please read it. And then for tightening the motor you will use either a torque wrench or our standard skateboard tool. The torque wrench will go with a 13 millimeter or a half an inch dip socket. So to install the motor you first grab the washer or speed ring, slide it all the way in, then you slide in the coupler all the way in and then the motor, that's the order. Make sure that the motor slides all the way in and the shaft clears the truck hanger all the way around, that's very important. At this point you will clog the motor so that the wire is protected by the hanger and smoothly routed towards the motor controller. Then you go in with the nut to tighten the motor. Contrary to your standard skateboard wheels, the motor needs to be very very tight. So tighten it as hard as you can and make sure to check it before every ride, especially those first three rides. Proper torque spec is 25 newton meters. We've received some questions on people wanting to try the motor on the other side and they, they can't remove it. So first remove the nut and after you remove the nut, try, try to press on it like this, apply weight on this and if it doesn't go out, use a rubber mallet and just give it a solid tap and it will slide, slide right out. They're telling me here that we cannot forget about the next step, making sure that the motor spins in the right direction. So you need to make sure that the floor move, moves backward like this.